Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Now I wasn't going to make this video. It's been um, uh, more than two months since I sent my stuff in um, and I finally got this invoice. Um, it says that my stuff is going to be done 5-3-2022. Uh, it's now 2-27-2022. So what really uh, made me mad is that uh, they're still charging me the same uh, amount. Um, I put that I wanted my stuff done uh, 14 to um, 22 days. And yeah, it's been uh, two times, more than two times what I I paid for. And they're still charging me the same stuff. Now, I know if you go on their site right now, it says that they're uh, backed up. Uh, it's going to take a while to get your stuff back. Well, when I went to their site last year, it was not saying that. I tried to use the way uh, back time machine to show that, but there was nothing on that day um, or around there when I sent my stuff in. Um, now, about a week later, there was something about uh, they were going to have a, a shortage of staff because they're going on vacation. Uh, well, my problem again is uh, why are you still charging me the same? Uh, it is not my fault if you, um, it is not the customer's fault if uh, you're having problems uh, with demand or you don't have enough people to handle uh, stuff or if you're going on vacation. No, you need to be prepared for these kind of things. Um, so let's take a look at when I sent them in, and then, then after that, uh, we'll take a look at how many times I called them, and uh, yeah, they didn't answer at all. So here we see that I uh, got to the post office on December uh, 9th, 2021, and it departed uh, December 9th, 2021, and it got there December uh, 13th, 2021, so about four days later. So I went to the post office on December 9th. Um, the stuff got there uh, December 13th, 2021. And um, I got uh, 14 to 22 days. And so I gave, them, uh, I gave them that time before I called in. And um, yeah, I started calling January 11th all the way till uh, January 21st. And then I gave up for about two weeks, three weeks. And I called again on the last time was February 10th. And um, yeah, you see different times I called and also um, how many times those times is because I try to get different extensions because I wasn't able to leave a voicemail or reach anybody at all any of those times. So every time I would call and try to reach a voicemail and uh, to an extension, it would tell me that the mailbox was full. So I was not able to talk to any of them. So aside from me trying to call them all those times and they're not responding at all, I also uh, sent them an email January 5th, which was more than a month ago, and they did not respond at all. Um, I also went through their site and they said um, you could reach them a lot faster if you uh, message them through their site, sent them an email. I did. Nothing at all. So three ways to try to contact them and didn't get a response at all out of either of them. Now, again, I did have problems with WADA when I did that, when I went through them, but it was nothing like this. Uh, at least they answered. At least uh, I was able to talk to them and they did go down on their price. Um, and they also graded my little Samsung for free. Um, so they, they made up. Um, a VGA doesn't look like they care, to be honest. Um, yeah, it kind of, uh, th that's what um, got me to make this video. Uh, I had somebody comment on one of my other videos saying they've had some problems with uh, WADA also and the grading uh, company too. Um, and look, um, I'm, I'm a nobody on here, to be honest. I really don't get a lot of views. But I believe that uh, when you're dealing with the company and the company doesn't do what they're supposed to, uh, you have a right to re leave a review. And this is my review. So, um, yeah, if, if you're having problems with uh, sites or, or some kind of company or, or whatever, um, make a video. You know, you might reach one, two, three, ten, twenty people, but you know that's still something. That's better than keeping quiet. So let people know what you think. Let people know your experience. And uh, this is my experience with uh, VGA. And it's terrible. Um, yeah, they, they suck. Um, I, I, if I could rate them, I would give them a one. And that's the one on my finger, you know, nobody really wants to see. So um, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you on my next one.